Now I'm going to show you how to enter a confidence interval for a standard deviation. The problem I'm displaying I took from my video titled 7.5 part 6 standard deviation etc. And this problem can be found at timestamp 2 minutes and 35 seconds. I've got both the question I will be entering and the answer values below. So what we need to do on this calculator is even though we're taking a square root, we focus on the interior portion of the calculator. The formula says n minus 1, sample size minus 1, times you know s squared over chi squared value from the table. Even though I've written it as 5 minus 1 in both cases to represent the way the formula looks, go ahead and do the subtraction yourself. And then what happens is by subtracting one from your sample size, we're not gonna need any more parentheses, even though we have parentheses for clarity in the handwritten portion. So to do the lower limit of my standard deviation confidence interval, I'm gonna turn my calculator on and just start with five minus one is four. I'll do that in my head. Then I need to multiply with the sample standard deviation squared which is 1.41421. Be sure to hit squared, that's a very common mistake. And the next thing you need to do is just go ahead and stay within the square root so we can just hit divided by the chi-squared table value of 9.488. But super important is we hit equal to get the interior value of the square root. So now we can hit the square root button to get the true lower end of our confidence interval. Now we're going to basically repeat this process, except for the only thing that's going to change is the table value. So I would write that answer down. And you could just launch into the next problem saying four times, etc., or you could clear your calculator. So for this upper end, four, because I've done the math in my head, times the sample standard deviation, quantity squared, that's my numerator, divided by my new denominator, and you don't need the lead zero, just 0.711, but I do need to hit equal so that the division takes place and the entire interior is now going to have its square root taken to give me an upper bound of 3.35, etc.